fall is here and things are getting dicey. We're starting to find out a lot of truths about the candidates and how important it is to vote. This November, all Christians need to vote. It's coming up next on Reality of God. Hello everyone out there, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Reality of God. My name is Ron Farina and I am out in my element again, out in the woods on a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny fall day, very crisp, beautiful day. Okay, USA. USA. And I am out on my favorite trail with the peak of the fall foliage now here in Western Michigan. Absolutely gorgeous scenery going on. As you can see behind me, look at that. This is really cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. The leaves have fully uh, peaked and I figure I get out here before they actually fall off the trees and the wind starts kicking up and everything is falling off, so. We're gonna do a video today and a lot to talk about. Um, if there's a lot of pauses during this time, uh, well, I don't know if there'll be pauses, but breaks, uh, it'll probably be because there's people around and I don't wanna get uh, people wild up about what's going on. <laughs> But there is a lot and how in how crucial this election has become um, and of course we have seen it fully develop of course uh, last week Kamala was holding a Kamala Harris was holding a rally someone cried out uh, Jesus is Lord and she, and it, it's, and even though people are saying, no, 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 he didn't say that, he didn't say that. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, and uh, she told him, oh, you're at the wrong rally. Of course, everybody knows that right now. Everybody has seen it. You've seen the video. And then you look at another video of J.D. Vance, who was doing the same rally. Someone cried out, Jesus is Lord. And he acknowledged and he said, yep, Jesus is Lord. And that should tell you everything you need to know, guys. That should tell you everything you need to know. The two sides that we are looking at right now. It's unbelievable what's going on. So I'm asking you to join me today on this walk across this beautiful park that I'm at. And uh, we're going to discuss a lot of things, a lot of things. Because I have said before, and I'll say it again, this is not an election, Democrat, Republican, nope. It's no longer, it's no longer that anymore. This is the devil, Satan versus God. And so we are the people. We are the people that are going to decide who's going to win. Is it going to be Satan or is it going to be God? Gentlemen, we must do something about this immediately, immediately, immediately. And I know a lot of people say, no, 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 that's too extreme, Ron. Well, how is it extreme? How, how have we not noticed that you have a woman who is like really pushing and in her biggest, her biggest push is the abortion issue. It is the biggest push that she has made that she is, she has clearly said, and, and I'm, I, I watched a little bit, just, just a little bit of it. Cause I can't cringe to watch this woman, uh, much longer. And she has clearly said that she is going to put in the right judges <laughs> because of the Supreme Court and all that, uh, reversing Roe versus Wade and leaving it to the states, which really is how it should be done. But I, again, I, I don't know if it was up to me and say abolish it altogether because it is murder. And she has said that she is going to really push for this to happen, to bring forth uh, a woman's right, a woman's right to choose. Oh my gosh, does that suck? Uh, and the crowd erupted like it, it wasn't, a, it, you know, when you go to a Trump, you hear the Trump rallies, the crowd erupts. It's more of a joyful, wonderful thing. 
When you hear crowd erupts in Kamala's rallies, it's 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 like hell is and demons are celebrating. If, if you listen to it, just just listen to it. Maybe I'm the only one who hears it, but I don't know. I, it's just absolutely crazy. I mean, it's scary in a way. And it's like these people, you see, they're 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 normal people, they're doctors, they're lawyers, they're they're uh you know, they have jobs, teachers, a lot of them are teachers, unfortunately. I'm gonna sit down and have you guys talk. You can look behind me how look at how beautiful that is. And it's getting to the point where we are you can tell who's evil, who's good. It, it, it's so obvious right now. And when someone says, yells out Jesus is Lord in, uh, in a rally, at, at Harris's rally, first off, all she had to say was, hey, I don't believe in your thing there, but you're welcome here. You're welcome to join us. You're... That's all she had to say. That's what a, a normal person would say. Okay, you're not a Christian. I get it, but... Um, you have to say you're at the wrong rally. We're going to go to the smaller rally down the street. I think this was in, um, uh, where did they have it? I think it might've been Michigan. I don't know, uh, where they had, or it might've been Iowa. I don't, I, I don't remember where the rally was. I, I, I guess that's irrelevant, but the point is she made it obvious. And if you evangelicals for Harris people, didn't see that you need to get before God and and figure this all out because this is a vote for righteousness this is a vote for good okay you have the two obvious it's not two evils a lot of people say oh I vote for the better evil no 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 this is between good and evil Trump he has shown he is good he is pro-peace, he is anti-war, and so forth. He's pro-clean environment, he's uh, pro-freedom, that's big, <laughs> it's very big. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you have RFK Jr. and Bobby Kennedy, he's, the guy's unbelievable, he's brilliant. I love Bobby Kennedy. Uh, I've always been a Kennedy, uh, pro-Kennedy kind of person since, you know, since, since I was young. That's why I voted Democrat, because I always thought, you know, Democrats were like Kennedy. <laughs> they, had, they were, uh, you know, pro-Constitution and pro-environment, anti-war. I would call myself, I would call myself a hippie in a way. I don't know. But I'm anti-war. I'm pro-peace. And I'm against, you know, I've always been against wars uh and i'm pro uh freedom i'm pro constitution i'm pro people freedom of speech people have a right to speak people have a right to you know bear arms and protect themselves so you know i would think that the 60s hippies if you've ever watched like woodstock or anything like that the 60s hippies would probably vote trump <laughs> because everything he he believes in he believes what they believed in if you go back and, and look at that, that's probably why they were, they were like for Bobby Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy Sr. back in the day, but uh, I digress. But <laughs> this, is, this has become an absolute uh, freak show right now on the Harrison Walls campaign. I mean, just an absolute freak show. And again, you see the two evil, you see, not the two evils, you see the evil, you see the good. And even if you see people who are supporting Harris, you see these people, they're not nice people. They're not. I sound like Trump here. They're not nice people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very bad. It's going to get worse, but we're going to make it better. That sort of thing. So you're seeing it. And if you're a Christian and you're out there saying, hey, I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to vote. There's no point into voting. Or you see the polls and you see that Trump is leading the polls. But now you're thinking, oh, well, we can relax. We don't have to worry about it. 
no, 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 no. Everyone watching this right now, I know there's probably just maybe 10 of you. You're watching this right now. Vote. Get out and vote. Don't, this is, this is, this is, this, don't, don't pay attention to the polls. Pretend that Trump's way behind. Just don't, 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 don't sit out this one. You can't. No one can sit out this vote. This is crucial. We're on a mission from God. And I'm praying to God that, um, I mean, I just moved here four months ago, but I still haven't changed my driver's license over. I, I looked it up and I said I could still register to vote here in Michigan. I'm in Michigan. I'm in a swing state. So this is very important that I, that I do vote. And, um, you know, I got to get everything right. So, um, so yeah, I'm praying to God that I will be able to easily vote here. Uh, I'll make sure I do it you know, legally, correctly, and I'll have the uh, proper documents, you know, if they need like a, a address, whatever, I'll, I'll vote. But anyways, that's, that's another story. Um, it's important. We have to do this. We have to vote. There is, and I truly believe there's going to be a chance of delay. There's going to be a chance of not, uh, acknowledging the presidency if, if he wins if, well, if he wins when he wins i have to say when because we can't say if there's no ifs here this is when when he wins um there's they're, they're gonna do everything in their power to stop this but we the people the christians pray and vote pray and vote two things two simple things is praying and voting if we're not doing that then you might as well just get to live the 70 years of socialism here in this country. And it's funny because there's people out there who actually want socialism. I, 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 I don't get that. It doesn't work. It's never worked for any country in the entire world. It's never worked. Communism, socialism, never worked. If, if, if there's anyone out there comment and, and has proved that socialism has worked, then I will... <laughs> I'll pay you a million bucks. There's no way in heck that any of that worked. So that's the bottom line. We need to get out there. We need to vote. We're voting for our freedom. We're voting for, uh, we're voting for uh, peace. We're voting for a clean environment. And we're voting for a healthy America because that's what Robert F. Kennedy is, is that's what his job will be, is to take down, you know, go to the FDA, go to agriculture, go to all these places and stop the poisoning of us and our children. We need to stop it. And plus he is a, he is an environmentalist. He's, he's going to make sure that our, that our nation, yes, to prosper, but to prosper in an environmentally, uh, safe thing. Cause I am, I am an environmentalist. I am, I am very much a, you know, environment person. Why do you think I'm out here all the time? I love it. I love nature. I love being out, uh, especially on a beautiful fall day like today. So, uh, yeah, I am a hippie. There's no question about it. But I'm sure as heck a pro-freedom kind of person. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a lot to uh, consider and think about. You know what I mean? You know, case in point, me being out. <laughs> so I always like to take you guys out. Probably not so much in the winter, but no, that's how it is. Also, um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what may happen. Uh, I've heard of, of a date, November 2nd. Something about this date that's coming up. A November 2nd warning from prophets. Now a warning. Now a warning? Um... I don't know what's going to happen on November 2nd. I really uh, have no clue. But uh, my guess is a war scare or uh, probably a war scare, nuclear war, maybe. Uh, no! No! Uh, maybe a volcano earthquake. Who knows? All I know is that there's been warnings about that. But the point, the bottom line is don't fear. Do not be afraid. Of course, we, we know the outcome of all this. If you are with me, then we have nothing to fear on what's going to happen on November 2nd, because I, it, whatever happens on November 2nd will not take place. It'll be attack of the enemy. Um, and 
we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to just pray against all these attacks that are coming uh it's not just the only one there's gonna be more there's gonna be lots more i think november is going to be and the, at least the next few weeks are going to be uh scary and but i'm here to tell you there is absolutely nothing to fear if you know the outcome okay if another cuban missile crisis happens you know it's going to turn out good yes it'll be scary but we will be okay we're gonna be fine that's the bottom line i'm trying to get a little bit more of the lake in here this is pretty i love it so a couple things i mean this is this is why it's so crucial you have you have the person who told a Christian to get out. You have J.D. Vance who says, you're welcome, you know, everyone's welcome, you know, everyone's welcome. Doesn't matter, you know. If you are pro-peace, pro-civil rights, pro-environment, pro-clean air, pro-healthier food, why would you not vote for Donald Trump? It makes no sense. Why would you not vote for Donald Trump? He supports these things. Look at, do your research. It's important, okay? He's not, he's not those evil Republicans that everybody you know, says. He's changed the Republican Party. The Republican Party is the party of the people now. And uh, Kelsey Gabbard said that in a speech the other day. I was not aware of that. Um, but again, this is, this is not just a normal election. This is a crucial, crucial, desperate, whatever you want to call it, election. You go and you vote. You stand in line. It doesn't matter. Make time. Vote early. I'm going to vote early. I'm, I'm going to try to go, go tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is crucial. So that's the bottom line, guys. Uh, I make these videos because I'm showing... The reality of God. This is God's reality, by the way. Um, I'm going to leave a link below also of, um, of Hank Kuhneman, a uh, prophetic word that he talks about in November. Um, very important you, you, you listen to this word because it's, it's big, but it's good. It's good things coming. Great things coming. Uh, as long as we do our part, we have to do our part, guys. We can't just sit around and do nothing. And wait for the rapture. That's not going to happen. We have to vote. We have to proceed. We have to be the salt and light. We have to be uh, proactive at this moment. And we have to pray. And we have to worship. We have to do these things. Or 70 years. We'll not have another chance for 70 years. That is, that is Robin Bullock's saying. Rob, the Lord told Robin Bullock that. I believe it with all my heart. We have to do this. You're going to hear warnings. You're going to hear things like that. But don't fear. Continue to pray. Hurricane Helene, or Hurricane um, uh, Milton. Look at that. Prayer. Stop that storm from being su su uh, apocalyptic, as they said it would be. I'm telling you, these things work. So, yeah. So as I wrap this up, I've always been, I'm going to tell you guys honest truth, I've always been a person who had a lot of fear, uh, scared of a lot of things, and uh, everything I, you know, I, and before all of that, if it wasn't for what God has done for me, I, I'd be a mess right now. Um, and so that is why I just, I, I don't fear these things. I don't fear these things. I don't fear nuclear war. I don't fear uh, what their plan is to delay everything or stop everything from happening. My goal is that God will win and we will win and God will proceed his plan, his anointed plan for this earth uh, that is coming. And I'm talking about glory I'm talking about His glory being poured out upon all flesh, His Spirit being poured out onto all flesh, and so forth. Uh, that's why I'm here. That's what this channel is about. 
So I ask you to do me a favor and subscribe and like and share and comment. Let's grow. Please share this video to your friends, your family, your neighbors, your uncles, your aunts, whatever. Yeah, this, this is crucial. This is a crucial video and this is a crucial election. I'm going to just conclude that right now. Very crucial. Anyways, lots to, lots to think about, lots to pray about. And remember, watch November 2nd. We'll see what happens that day. Anyways, that's going to be my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Pray, vote. I'll see you in the next video. God bless all of you. Bye for now.